I'm Antti Holma. This is Finlandia Fridays. Welcome to Finlandia Fridays. My name is Michael Babcock. I am your host. This is episode 21. Today is Friday, March 24th, 2017. And we are joined today um, by an international guest. This is Antti Holma, a uh, famous Finnish actor. Antti, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Yeah, we're, we're happy to have you on the show. We're more happy to have you in our community. Um, you've been running around town all week. Um, well, actually, we're a little, little hint behind the scenes here. We're going to shoot this a little ahead of time. So today is actually March 17th, and they're on campus uh, visiting the Keweenaw. Um, that's when we're shooting today. As you're listening to this on WMPL, it's March 24th. And Auntie's here with his crew talking about the Keweenaw and the Finnish heritage here. Um, before we get into the show, though, I want to learn a little bit more about yourself. Um, what made you um, get into acting and what, what kind of career have you had? Well, it was really typical for a Finnish actor. You know, I was, I was born in a, uh, raised up in a small place and then I got into a arts high school. And after that, I got into a university with uh, drama, drama university. And then, uh, then after that, I've been working. And then I worked for television, uh, I'm sorry, theater for quite a bit, um, five, six years. And then I got into television. There was this, uh, we've got in Finland, Putos. It's, um, I think, kind of similar to Saturday Night Live here, sketch okay. comedy, live Saturday Night. And uh, and I did a character, uh, a fitness queen character there uh, with a denim skirt and uh, and uh, high heels. And uh, and, <laughs> and believe it or not, it, it, it was really popular in Finland. And then after that, I've been doing quite a lot of things for television. And I, I do believe it because I have seen your YouTube channel. <laughs> I have seen uh, I've seen your Twitter account. You ha- you seem to be very um, very popular in Finland. What's uh, what's that like being um, being a, a recognizable person in Finland? And even on campus here, um, met with some of the students. Looked like the students recognized you right away. The Finnish students we have here. Yeah, it's very local in Finland. Well, Finnish people know me because uh, I've been doing quite a lot of things um, to different audiences. I think um, that's why you know I've, I've written a novel, for example. So I've got read, uh, readers in my audience, and I, then I've done some sketch comedy, and it's got like a different audience. So, so I guess I'm pretty well known there. Finnish people are very timid and uh, kind of respectful in that sense. So when I whenever I travel to Finland, I live in London nowadays, uh, but whenever whenever I go back home, um, it's you know it's sometimes I get selfies when I'm on TV a lot. That's yeah. that's when it happens, you know. When the TV is really powerful in Finland as well, I think it's in here as well. Yeah, they have to get on, you know. You've got your movie stars, but then you know to become kind of like a household name, I I believe you have to be on television a lot, or then series and and that sort of things. If you're doing that, then then people recognize you. But Finnish people are really 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 nice. Yeah, I, I've learned that here from working at Finlandia for a few years. Every there's a lot of Finns here, as you've met. Um, and people seem to be very humble, um, and and you know they seem to be very nice people, which is wonderful. And that's what you guys are learning on campus this week. Actually, not just on campus, throughout the entire mm-hmm. community. Um, they're actually here shooting um, a television series for MTV3, um, which is not music television. It's actually just a, a broadcast channel down there. Um, tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing here and what you're hoping to learn from uh, the Kiwana. Yeah, so we're doing this series about Finnish people who've moved abroad. And because um, we've got our um, independence, uh, 100 years of independence ce- uh, celebrations this year. Uh, so it's really, really kind of a fit show for that. So we're traveling all around the world and we've got kind of like different aspects of being Finnish. And obviously here in Hancock, it's, it's, it's huge um, uh, because you've got um, a great Finnish heritage here. Finnish people moved um, uh, m- moved here in the 19th century, and then still, even though there are not so many Finnish speakers anymore, um, you see Finnish names. You you um, you recognize Finnish words. So walking on the streets, you've got the the street names uh, in the center in in Finnish, which is hilarious to us, yeah. obviously, because we're a tiny country you know <laughs> and whenever we travel abroad you know you 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 kind of recognize if you if you hear someone speaking Finnish somewhere else it's always a bit like 
that's when we become so like sociable and and talk to each other. When when you travel to uh, Asia and then you you hear someone speaking Finnish, like you're Finland, <laughs> and we don't really speak that much to each other back home. But uh, but in here, it's just you know it's amazing to see the the Finnish American community as well because it's a different thing than to just be you know. Finnish, a Finnish person living in Finland, you've got um, a great community here, and all the traditions that the community has has come up with, it's it's amazing. What's um, you know, it's it's been interesting watching your crew. You guys, um, I'll speak Finnish, and we've been to a lot of places, and it definitely turns um turns a lot of heads when I, all of a sudden you hear these people speaking Finnish, um, and it's interesting too. Most people recognize that it's Finnish, um, which I think is probably rare for being in the U.S. speaking a foreign language. Well, y- that's the thing. When we uh, when we drove here from Detroit, we flew to Detroit, and then we drove like eleven hours here, and it was amazing because the uh, well, first of all, the landscapes were pretty familiar, I think, for all of us. And I took a picture and said it to my mother and father, and and, and said that look, I'm I'm home almost because it's they live in a really kind of flat area of Finland. And and the light was just really similar, and it was like, okay, I understand why the Finnish people moved here, because because it, it it made you feel like home. But then the language is is kind of like you get all you know, kind of stupid when you go around a shop and then you see a product that's got a Finnish name, and then you're just like, oh look at that, Woo, and then taking selfies with it mm-hmm. because it's so rare for us. And uh, and yeah, then and then the uh, then I think the funny thing with the community is, or not funny, but you know, great thing about the community is that everybody seems to be really proud of their Finnish heritage, which is lovely. And and I think you know, you talk about Sisu, uh, people talk about Sisu, and 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 tell how their uh, great grandparents came here, and and it's just amazing to kind of learn these things and and kind of know that people appreciate their background which is because sometimes i think in finland we seem to be a bit like mm, i don't know it's great to be a finnish person i guess but it's not the kind of i don't know it's it's uh, we we kind of the even the comedy and and the way we speak of ourselves can be a little bit you know downgrading and then um just the way that people um think of their finnishness in here is just so positive it's great yeah, that's that's a lot of fun. We, we again, we appreciate you being here, um, and you guys have been here for a few days now. What's been your favorite part? Um, what's the f- favorite activity you've met or person you've met so far? Um, well, I think for me, when I met Hillary Virtanen, yeah. right? Uh, when I met Hillary, it was just because she was so uplifting in in any way, in, in every way, and and her attitude towards Finland and towards the world in general. And and to our culture, because I asked her that we did a little interview, and I asked her that um, that could could she probably like reinforce us to believe in in the Finnish culture because we tend to be a bit like I don't know we've only had culture for like five years in Finland, and then she was like no it's it's actually not like that at all and you you really should be proud and it's a great country, so that was something that was really kind of emotional to me as well and you you don't expect that and you come because we've got a funny show as well you know we do these interviews. But then we fool around as well, and we want to make it, you know, lighthearted and nice, and uh, and entertaining. Uh, but then you find yourself, you know, talking to people with you, you know, and kind of wiping tears from your eyes because it's it's you know it's just great to that that people are so involved. I think. Yeah, and Hillary, of course, is assistant professor of Finnish studies here at Finland yeah. University. Um, she was actually on our show a few weeks ago. It was nice to see her on, and, and she'll be on again in the future. They're actually going to Finland um, in a few weeks with some of their students, which will be a lot of fun for her. Yeah. Um, before we finish here, I want to know, what when are we expecting this to be on the air? And we hope us, us Americans will be able to get to view it. Yeah, I'm. Uh, <clears throat> I'd love to say that absolutely it will be on, on online, uh, but I, I don't know about the copyright restrictions. This is the most boring concept ever. But you know, <laughs> sometimes there are you know country restrictions. But we will make sure that all the people in in Hancock and and who we met here get to see it. But it will be on air in Finland um, starting from September, I think. Eight episodes. We've already been to Chile, Brazil. We're still going to Australia. Um, uh, uh, Iceland, for example, and, and meeting people with different connections to Finland. 
Excellent. Well, keep up with the Mandy Fridays. We'll have updates on, on when it's going to air, um, including for the people that a lot, of, a lot of our guests are actually in Finland. We have a lot of viewers in Finland, which is fun. Um, and hopefully we'll get a showing here on campus. Um, so we'll update our community if that's a possibility. Um, again, thank you guys for watching for 90 Fridays. Thank you, Auntie, for being on here. Thank we appreciate so it. Thanks. And we will see you guys next Friday.